and today our family is in Tibby Island, Georgia. We're getting away for a little vacation, trying to get in a little bit of beach time, and we thought we might as well try out a new area that we've never been to before. Tibby Island is just outside of Savannah, Georgia. We've never been to either place, so let us show you around our place that we're staying in real quickly, and then we're gonna take you on a fun adventure today to go meet some dolphins. All right, kiddos, let's show them the rental house. This way! giant front porch area and then Maya's gonna take you right inside. It's a really old house. I think it's from the 1920s if I remember correctly and it's really cute. First there's a door oh, and you open the two doors here's our kitchen. Yep here's the kitchen. The little 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 old kitchen and oh there's all of our food in there right? That's why the house is kind of small. Why? And the rooms are small and the house is small because the house is old. Not all old houses are small, but let's take them through the rest of the journey. So we have a big hallway right here, kind of a long hallway. And here is like our open pantry for all of our dishes. We were super nervous about this when we first got here because we thought, oh my goodness, Colin is going to knock all this glass down and make a big mess, but luckily he hasn't touched it. Fingers crossed it stays that way. Yeah, this is my room. It has my new thing that I bought, and it's kind of like a gym where you put your suitcase and towels up there. Yeah, so here's Maya's room. Yeah, Maya. It has these big windows in Addie's room, too. And there's a sink. You're right. The bell, the bell is a door. What hold. is this bell? It's a door holder. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, a door holder. I was wondering what that is. I saw it on the floor. The place only has a one bathroom, but every bedroom comes with this little tiny sink in the corner, which is kind of handy. All right, let's keep going, guys. Okay. Hey, this is the bathroom. Bathroom's this over there. Down Where does that go? It goes below us, so it's it says for the beach access. Yeah, it's, it has all our beach stuff in it. Yes, yeah, so we'll take you down the secret back stairs area in just a minute. Here's another room. So this is the fish. This is Colin's room, technically, right? Yeah, he likes the fish. He, he does like the fish. Colin is very obsessed with these. Is this your room? Is this your room? Yeah. He hasn't actually slept in here. He slept with me every night, but he claims this as his room because he likes the fish on the door. Fish. Fish. <laughs> continue down the hallway we have this nice um, living space here there's a dining room area a big table and um, a, living room. a living space over here another bedroom over this way here's and, the living room and two other rooms a porch with the porch swing you know what we have to show them the porch the porch is my favorite oh, part of the house we have a nice screened in porch back here we live in our screened in porch at home and I pretty much live on the screened in porch out here as well Ooh, our favorite part of the porch we just got in yesterday and we spent a lot of time out here already. We went to the beach and then came back here and relaxed. The kids swung on that swing forever and had lunch. And it's just such a pleasant, pleasant place out here. And the screen and porch is really pretty big. I'm gonna keep going and show you what else we have out here. We have a nice seating area over here and a table over here. And these are back to the bedrooms back inside there. And we have a yard. So right down these steps. Those are all the beach stuff we used yesterday. <laughs> Lots of beach stuff. That little path right there leads to the beach. We have a little yard right there. Yeah, so if we keep walking this way, you can see this path over here. And this is the path that we walked along to get to the beach yesterday. And the beach out here is very different from the beaches we're used to in like California and Florida. Um, we have to walk through like sand dunes. It's almost like some marshy areas. It's really different and really cool. We'll have to show you that maybe later in this vlog or an upcoming one. All right, time for the secret staircase. It's a little spooky, so watch out. We're heading down to this little underground area. It's a little musty down here. It's like a basement, but kind of all open to the outdoors. There's a small laundry room with a dryer and a washroom. There's a storage room. Yeah, we have laundry over here. What's in oh, here? I haven't looked in there. This is a bathroom. Oh, there's a bathroom? Two bathrooms. Oh. Not one. And then over this way. There's like a sandy area. Yep. So we are under the house right now. There's sandy beach. What is it? There's sandy beach. A sandy beach. It is sandy down here, but I don't think it's quite the beach. Showers. <laughs> Yep, we have showers in here. So we have a boys room and a girls room. So this is for after beach showering. So there's three showers actually underground in this place. You can get all clean after 
after you've been at the beach and you're covered with sand before you go up into the actual house. And so out the storage room. There's all the storage area. And then now we're back to the backyard. You're right. Back to the path. Well, that was a quick tour of where we are staying in Tibby Island, Georgia. Now, girls and boys, it's time to go see some dolphins. Yay! You guys ready? Yeah! yeah. Dolphins for fun. Now we're having lunch at the Crab Shack. Yeah. Are you girls ready to eat crab legs? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You're excited actually? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Are you excited? Kind of. <laughs> I think they're a little bit nervous. I know. <laughs> Delicious. 
part of the Crab Shack, they have a gator area with some small gators in it, and the kids get an opportunity to feed them. We're gonna, we're gonna see how we do that. I read the sign that said these gators were not wild. They were born here, and they will stay here for the rest of their lives. Like this. I think so. So right on the hook. Now you gotta find the gator you wanna feed. Oh, I got that one. Oh. <laughs> Be careful. Here it comes, Colin. Look, it's going for it. You fed the gator, Colin! You did it! These gators are a lot smaller than I was anticipating to be when I heard we could feed gators, but I am totally okay with that. Small gators are better than big gators in my mind. Who would have thought we would have fed gators with our lunch? <laughs> Crazy experience. <laughs> It's been a busy day, but we're gonna end it by walking out to the beach. Um, look at this little boardwalk and then a path to the sand dunes that we can take from our rental house to the sand. However, oh, it's a little bit of work with all the gear <laughs> that's necessary to have a fun time at the beach. This part of the beach is what I think looks so different from the beaches that I'm used to um, where we grew up in California. All this, it's not really marshy or I don't know what you call it, but you walk over the dunes and there's plants and it's just very different from the beaches I grew up with. There's actually a wildlife center down here where you can do a marsh walk, which I think would be so fun. I'm gonna see if I can get the girls to do that with me another day because I find that What's the whole, marsh? the marsh, where you get to walk the marsh. What's that? You know how the areas you've seen where there's like kind of grass growing in the water? Oh, yeah. You get to walk through it and you get to like, get to touch and pick up some of the animals that grow in there. Would that be fun? Yeah.